thank the employee for his or her time and cooperation, address the nature of what has been investigated, explain that the matter under investigation is serious and that the company has a commitment and obligation to investigate the claim, explain that no conclusions have been made until all the facts have been gathered and analysed, state that any attempt to influence the outcome of the investigation by retaliating against anyone who participates, providing false information or failing to be forthcoming can be the basis for corrective action up to and including termination. When interviewing the parties and witnesses, the investigator should refrain from offering his or her opinion. The following are some examples of questions that are appropriate to ask the party. Who committed the alleged inappropriate behaviour? What exactly happened? When did the incident occur? Or is it actually ongoing? Where did the incident occur? How did you react? Did you ever indicate that you were offended or somehow displeased by the act or the offence of treatment? Who else may have seen or heard the incident? Have you ever discussed the incident with anyone? Did the person who harassed you harass anyone else? If so, who? Do you know whether anyone else complained about harassment by that person? If yes, who? How did the behaviour affect you and your job? Did you ever seek any medical treatment or counselling as a result of the incident? Are there any notes, physical evidence or documentation regarding the incident? Is there anyone else who might have relevant information? Do you have any other relevant information? What actions do you want the company to take? When did you learn about the company's anti-harassment policy? For further information and employee investigation, please see the next video in our series.